Chapter 28 of Iracema, The Honey Lips, The Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 28 Once, the sobs of Iracema reached the Christian soul. His eyes sought her all around and could not find her. The daughter of Araquim was sitting at some distance upon the turfy grass in the midst of a green clump of ubayas. Weeping veiled her beautiful face, and the tear-drops that rolled down her cheeks, one after another, fell upon her bosom, where the offspring of love already breathed and grew. Thus fall the leaves of the flourishing tree before the ripening of the fruit. What wrings tears from the heart of Iracema? Cajueiro weeps and is sad when it becomes a dry trunk. Iracema lost her happiness when her lord separated from her. Am I not near thee? The body of Huachiao is here, but his soul flies to the land of his fathers and seeks the white virgin who awaits him. Martin was grieved. The large black eyes that the Indian fixed on him pierced him to the heart's core. The white warrior is thy husband. He belongs to thee. The beautiful Tabajara smiled in her sorrow. How long is it that he has withdrawn his spirit from Iracema? Once his feet guided him to the cool serras and the glad tablelands. His foot loved to tread the land of happiness and to follow the steps of his wife. Now he seeks along the scorching sands because the sea which murmurs there comes from the plains where he was born, and the hill of sand, because from its top he can descry the passing Igara. It is his anxiety to fight the Tupinambá, which guides the warrior's step to the borders of the sea, said the Christian. Irasema continued, His lip has dried towards his wife, as the sugar cane when the great suns burned. It then loses its sweet honey, and the withered leaves play never more in the wind. Now he only speaks to the sea beach breeze, that it may carry back his voice to the cabin of his fathers. The voice of the white warrior is only calling his brothers to defend the cabin of Irasema and the land of his son when the enemy shall come. The wife shook her head. When Quachiabo walks in the plains, his eyes avoid the fruit of the genipapa and seeks the white thorn. Its fruit is savory, but it has the color of the tabajaras. The thorn bears a white flower, like the cheeks of the pale virgin. If the bird sings, his ear no longer cares to listen to the sweet song of the grauna. But he opens his soul to the cry of the japim, because it has golden feathers, like the hair of her whom he loves. Sorrow dims the sight of Iracema, and embitters her lip. But gladness will soon return to the wife's soul, as the green leaves bud again on the tree. When the white warrior's son has left the bosom of Iracema, she will die, like the abachi after it has yielded its fruit. Then he will have nothing to detain him in a foreign land. Thy voice burns, daughter of Araquim like the winds which blow in the great heat from the deserts of Iko. Wouldst thou abandon thy husband? Does the white warrior see that beautiful jacarandá which rises to the clouds? At its feet still lies the dry root of the leafy myrtle, which every winter bears foliage and red berries to embrace and cover its brother tree. If it did not die, the jacarandá would not have sun enough to reach that height. Iracema is the folha which creates darkness in Quachiago's soul. She must fall, that gladness may shine within his breast. The Christian threw his arms round the waist of the beautiful Indian, and strained her to his heart. His lips sought hers in a kiss, but it was harsh and bitter. End of chapter 28